It is time now for today's edition of Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, and I'm joined for that by Catalina Marchand de Abreu. Welcome to the programme, Catalina. In today's edition, some users are claiming online that a historic Orthodox church in Gaza has been targeted by Israel. Tell us a bit more about that. That's right, Tom. Uh, these claims have been uh, circulating online since October 9th, uh, mostly amongst pro-Russia, pro-Palestine, and a conspiracy, conspiracy theory accounts as they all come together to claim the same thing, uh, to claim that Israeli warplanes bombed the largest church, St. Porphyrius Orthodox Church in Gaza, Palestine, as this user claims on X. This user also posts uh, this uh, video together with uh, the claims uh, where we see these heavy airstrikes that take place uh, either during the night or right before uh, dawn where we see a series of uh, blasts that these users uh, claim destroyed Gaza's Orthodox uh, Church. Uh, then uh, Paul Golding, uh, party leader of UK's extreme right party, Britain uh, first, uh, with similar claims as he says that he's seen reports uh, that the church of St. Porphyrius in uh, Gaza has been destroyed. Uh, he, one of the oldest churches in the world, as he says, at 1,616 years old, as he adds a much different video uh, than uh, the previous user where we see the inside of this historic church and the relics it contains, known as one of uh, Gaza's most historic uh, 12th century sites that these users uh, claim uh, that Israeli airstrikes destroyed. Okay, well, was this Orthodox church really destroyed as a result of uh, Israeli airstrikes, Catalina? Well, Tom, a reverse image search led us uh, to the same uh, video published uh, by Turkish media reporting on Israeli airstrikes targeting uh, Gaza civilians, where uh, they published the video that we saw in the viral claims, but they also published the same video, except they published it in broad daylight. And thanks to this uh, video that we see during the day, our fact-checking colleagues at uh, Bellingat were able to geolocate exactly where these blasts uh, took place in Gaza, in particular, uh, thanks uh, to this uh, building in the bottom that reads al Ragab. Uh, this is the name of a building that is uh, located close uh, to the Bank of uh, Palestine that we see right here, uh, according to this video that Bellingat uh, got from a Facebook post on August 2022, where we see uh, the Bank of uh, Palestine with its uh, logo, and we also see the building uh, that we saw in the videos in the viral claims that reads al Ragab. So thanks to this uh, geolocation uh, service, uh, we were also able to create an itinerary uh, to show the car distance between between the Bank of uh, Palestine and the Orthodox Church uh, that is a 10-minute car away uh, as the airstrikes took place in around uh, this area, approximately 2.6 kilometers away uh, from the Church of St. Uh, Porphyrius. Uh, so uh, these uh, bombings could not have uh, taken, uh, have, could not have uh, targeted uh, the St. Porphyrius uh, Church as these users uh, claim on X. Uh, and in case you needed any further proof, the official account of the St. Porphyrius Orthodox Church also went to Facebook to debunk these uh, claims as it informs its community that its church is uh, untouched and fully operational. Okay, so even though these claims are fake, the viral video does reveal some quite interesting information, doesn't it, with regards to these airstrikes in Gaza. Tell us a bit more. It does, Tom. It reveals a new evidence found by Bellingat that the strikes that we saw in this viral video actually occurred in a densely populated area, as is characteristic of Gaza City. Uh, but they also find that the strikes took place in the vicinity of several schools, although the only confirmation we have on this so far uh, comes from the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, who condemned Israeli airstrikes that hit two United Nations schools sheltering displaced families in Gaza as some 137,000 people are currently sheltering in these United Nations facilities, according to the UN, with the number increasing as heavy shelling and airstrikes continue uh, to hit Gaza. OK, thank you very much indeed for that update. Catalina Marchandiebro with today's edition of Truth or Fake. Thank you so much to you.